Newcastle host their first Champions League match at St. James Park for 20 years tonight against Kylian Mbappe's Paris Saint-Germain. It's been a long time coming for Newcastle fans but they're finally set to experience Champions League football at St. James Park once again this evening and the club's owners will get a glimpse of the glamour they're aspiring to experience in years to come. Champions League football is the pinnacle in Europe with Newcastle the latest club looking to shake up the order following their £300 million takeover. Newcastle's new owners wasted little time in making big claims on where they plan to take the club. Amanda Staveley promised the Magpies would be challenging at the top of the Premier League within five years that they've put their money where their mouth is with huge investment in the playing squad and big-name signings such as Sandro Tonelli. Bruno Guimaraes and Alexander Isak. Their efforts last year in Eddie Howe's first full season in charge saw Newcastle secure a surprise top-four finish and they've been handed a challenging Champions League group playing in Europe's elite competition against the very best is the ultimate goal for Newcastle's ownership group. And there won't be many tougher tests than this evening when they come up against French superstar Kylian Mbappé who cost PSG around £166 million when he joined from Monaco in 2017. Mbappe's future in the French capital is being questioned as he enters the final year of his contract. He was being linked with a move away from PSG during the summer transfer window and Newcastle were even being touted as a possible destination. The riches now available to Newcastle have firmly put them in the frame to challenge in the transfer market for that caliber of player. Their coup in signing Tonelli this summer ahead of clubs such as Manchester United, Liverpool, Chelsea and Arsenal who were all looking for world-class midfielders proves the pulling power Newcastle possess.